Today I'm doing something a little different. I'm going for a swim in half an hour, and in another week this beach will be reshaped for the canoe slalom course on this section of the river, probably covering up anything that today could easily be found. It's going to be a very short episode. I haven't even left the big pile of new sand that's going to be spread about, and I've already spotted a very bent up fork. It looks to be brass or copper, so probably used to be silver plated. The river always takes the silver, but I'll always take the bronze and the brass and any other copper alloy. That looks interesting. Oh, it's just a hinge, and it's rusted shut. Oh wow, another hinge. Brass this time. Strange how things clump together like this. Or maybe, I guess it could be leftovers from a bonfire. Something shiny. Plastic first. Okay, it's a bottle opener. Stainless steel, still perfectly functional. Let's see. Nope. Yes, I spy brass. Um, looks to be maybe the top part of a desk bell. Not sure. Anyway, taking it. And this. First rubber bottle stopper of the day. Oh wow, that says Lucasaid. I had no idea Lucasaid was quite so old. A little bit of pipe stem. Probably 18th or 19th century. There's quite a lot of nicely polished river glass here distracting me. And this is what I crouch down for. Ceramic block, too chunky for a tile, too big and rectangular for a dice. No idea. I have a river glass. Little ceramic lid might be off a Victorian powder jar. I don't know why I take some things and not others. I often wonder why I picked something up when I look at it back home. That's kind of pretty. That's not. And that's... some melted glass. Interesting, but no. Time enough for a bit of litter picking. Polystyrene. Hate the stuff. Squeaky, like fingernails down a blackboard. But I hate seeing it on the rivers even more. I know what did that. I came down here last week just to explore, and I got about this close to a peregrine falcon that was eating the pigeon whose feathers foes are. It saw me contemplated me, and quite casually flew off over that way. Both plastic. Um, I think this is a no entry sign. Wherever it was, the river entered and took it. Maybe it was at the entry point to this beach.
This is where the bodies are buried. The spades are a dead giveaway. Kinda 60s style plastic glasses frame. Shame they're absolutely trashed. I like the style. Just found this. It's the most folded up, utterly mangled saucepan I've seen mudlarking. And I do see a surprising number of them. Scrap aluminium. Might take it. Just spotted a little bottle. No great age to it. It's a bit of a pastiche of Art Deco style. Probably a perfume bottle, but it's in good condition and I'll take it. I see some brass. Well, that's intriguing. What is it? Sixpence? Shilling? Insert note through base. So it's a money box of some kind, predating decimalization, which happened in um, 1971. Missing important bits, obviously, but still quite a cool find. Yep, that's copper wire. And that's a big bundle of copper. might have come off a transformer, an uh, electrical component, not shape-shifting robot. More plastic. Roundup time and a bag of varied modern trash. Some nice river glass and pottery shirts, a bent fork, a bottle and a money box and a fairly sizable amount of wire and scrap metals, all recyclable or upcyclable. I think that's pretty good for only a half hour of beachcombing. I hope you've enjoyed this short format video. It's a one-off so far, but if I find more suitable sites and people have enjoyed it, I might do more. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe, comment, share, donate, buy, or none of the above. Whatever interaction or multiple of interactions seems appealing to you. Thank you all very much for watching, and for now, goodbye.